So as you're doing some of the blend shapes, you might notice like, for instance, Cheek Puff only has one. And according to my documentation, I am going to need a Cheek Puff right and a Cheek Puff left. Well, Hannah Tool has a cool little tool for that, as well as kind of the ability to edit and make your cheeks maybe a little bit more puffy than you want to as well. Um, so under the Hannah Tool, you can go into the, uh, first of all, the separator left and right, if you want to separate your sides for your cheek puff. And so I use that to go ahead and put a cheek puff L and a cheek puff R. And so now I can go and do cheek puff L, cheek puff R. And do that. Now, if you want to make your cheeks a little bit more puffy, or if you want to add a little bit more expression or tweak a little bit um, for your character, then you can do that as well by going into the um, VRM, or sorry, the HANA tool, and going into the shapes to shape. Inside the shape to shape, you want to go ahead and choose your face uh, shape in here, which would just be the body. Uh, shape in here and then once I do that you get this other little window that opens up and allows you to edit your different shapes so if I want my cheek puff to be a little bit more puffy I can go into the edit and I get this cool little window here where I can check it out how puffy is my cheek puff left uh, you know it's it's pretty or sorry this is right this is a little puffy but maybe I want to edit some of the blend shapes a little bit. So you can go above 100 if you want to get like real out there. <laughs> kind of looks like he's got a jawbreaker in there. Or you can also add in some other things. Like maybe when I puff my cheeks, I also want to squint my eye a little bit on this side. Because the puffiness really like makes my cheek, you know, puff out to that side. So... Maybe that squints my face a little bit too. So I can add that in and then go adjust and uh, convert. Oh, yep, conversion complete, and then go ahead and save it. All right, so uh, you know, we can get these blend shapes in here now um, in my mesh, but really what what matters is that I now can. Uh, go in and name those blend shapes with the namer as we're doing. One of the other things that we can do with the HANA tool is uh, we can make different shapes that uh, didn't come pre-set with the HANA tool. Like I said, that tool was not built for this purpose, uh, for this five um, blend shapes that we need to set up. So uh, it doesn't have all the ones we need. For instance, um, I don't really have a vibe uh, or a mouth ape shape. And um, I'm going to work on that by just going into the HANA tool. And I'm going to do the one that says inserter. So inserter is going to allow me to add in a new mesh blend shape. And so it it asks you, it brings up this little window and it asks you, where do you want to insert it at? Uh, you know, if you should just put it by what the other, where the other stuff is really, but it, honestly, it doesn't matter because um, we're going to be uh, creating our own anyway. So I'll go ahead and put it down by these mouth parts. Um, we'll just do it under mouth pout is fine. So I can put it under, oops, cheek suck. Yeah, that's fine. And then again, you just want to name it the right name. That way you don't have to rename it later. And then you're just going to say insert blend shape. And you can, I think you're doing multiples if you want to do multiples. I'm just going to go ahead and do one. Oh, I've already got that one. So let's go. Let's, uh, I think I renamed one to, to be that. But let's go ahead and uh, insert blend shape. So it's going to add that blend shape to my mesh. So what I'll get now is <clears throat> if I go into my character and go back to our meshes that we have. So if I open it up and go to my body and look at my blend shapes that I've got, um, 
I can go down and find the one that I just inserted. So this mouth ape shape too, though, we can go and uh, right now, if you move it, it does nothing because we haven't actually told it what to do yet. It's just a blank thing in there. So to edit it, we go back to our shapes to shape. And again, we're going to pick our body. It takes a little second to. Takes a second. And then uh, we're going to go down to our mouth ape shape. Two. And we'll get back to our little render. Get our face in line here so I can see it. And then we can start to try to make that shape. So you can kind of have this up in the background, see what you're working for. So. If I look at kind of what's going on with the lips, they're kind of like squishing together. So you could even mess with some, I mean, you can use whatever of these blend shapes you want. You don't need to use the the ones that are a part of the HANA tool. That may, this is actually a fang. <laughs> so I could stick my fang out longer at this point or not. So you can get really advanced with this stuff. But if I wanted to, um, say what a hundred percent mouth eight shape look like then i can go in and try to pull some of these things in so all right so what i came up with i think it's gonna work here uh jaw 150 open because the jaw is really um going down and opening up um but i also had to close the mouth uh so Basically, the two things I think that matter are the mouth overlay, lower overlay, and the the jaw. And then I did a few other tweaks to kind of fix the mouth shape a little bit. And uh, so that's kind of what I ended up with. Um, but after you're done, you hit adjustment complete. And then once you're done with all your edits, you can hit convert blend shapes. There you go. And then if you want to preview the one that you just made, you can go into your blend shapes, find the one that you put in, and you can toggle and see what it did. So again, I'm just trying to elongate that jaw. <laughs> the last cool thing I think we can do um, is go into the Hannah tool and we can use that separator left and right again, but we don't have to use it on the shapes that the Hannah tool made. Uh, we can also use it on some of these other shapes that I think can be cool. For So for instance, when I smile, I kind of maybe want it to, instead of just being a kind of a weak little smile, um, I want it to be something a lot cooler than that. So I could actually split my smile in half from left to right, and that would work for my, maybe my smile left and right. Um, you know, I could I could add something like that. So, for instance, if you look at the one called like Joy, you can see maybe I maybe I like that a little bit more than because it also squints my eye a little bit. I think that's cool instead of kind of just the mouth moving. So, um, I'm gonna go and use this Joy and split that in half so that I can get my left right, and I'm gonna rename these things, um, in in that. So if you want to split this joy, you would go up to the HANA tool, you would go to the separate left and right, choose your body, and then you want to make sure you use the all joy, separate the blend shape, then you should get a left and right, and so now I can smile one side only, but also get the 
eye movement in with it if you're not using the eye tracking. Although you could probably still use the eye tracking with that. All right, so then we just need to rename this to the same side. So we'll do our rename tool. And we want to also rename the other one that I had set up already to something else. So I go and find my mouth smile. Awesome. Well, I'm Chubb Love, and I hope you guys stick around for some more content that I'll be pushing out. Um, if you want to see that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.